What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. Today is part 3 of our color grading challenge and in this video I'll be using only the selective color color adjustment layer in Photoshop. If this is your first time watching this challenge, then the aim of this challenge is to show that you don't need to master all the tools in Photoshop before you can get a good color grade. You need to just understand how colors work and how the tool you are using works. So I'll be challenging myself to use only the selective color color adjustment layer to color grade this awesome picture that was shot by an amazing photographer called Luna. I'll leave a link to his ig in the description box so you can go check him out and give him a follow the part one of this challenge was about using hue and saturation adjustment layer only to color grade the picture part two was about using only color balance and part three here is about using only selective color tomorrow will be the grand finale as i'll be showing you guys how i would normally color grade this picture using all the tools that i normally use for my color grade so without further ado let's begin so the first thing i would do as i always do is to create a a mask around the skin for my skin toning so i'll quickly do that Okay, so I'm done making my selection around the skin. I'll just feather it a little so that the edges won't be too hard or too harsh. Then I'll create a group and then apply the mask, a mask of where I selected. Then I'll rename the group to skin toning. Now, if you want to get full details of everything just go and watch the first episode as i really took time to explain everything there in this one i'll just be speeding things up so that those that watch the previous two episodes won't get bored so i'm going to create the selective color adjustment layer inside the group and then play around with the skin to get the the skin toning that i want one thing I should mention is that I really love using the selective color color adjustment layer in Photoshop. It's like one of my favorite color grading tools. It's kind of like a combination of the hue and saturation adjustment layer and the color balance adjustment layer. Just that it's a little bit limited. At least you can change the hue of a color and also the contrast. Similar to what you can do with the hue and saturation layer. So let me just stop talking and Okay, so I'm done with the skin toning. I used only one layer. It's not that serious. It's just a very mild adjustment just to get rid of the red in the skin and get it to where I want it to be. So this is the before and this is the after. You may not even notice it, but me, I can notice it and that's what matters. So the next thing is to create another group for background, like the overall color grade. That one was just for the skin. So I'll select the mask on the skin add the eyes and lips that i subtracted in the previous one and then invert it then i'll create a new group mask it and then name it color grid so as usual i will speed up this part because you know um, I don't have the figures already. This is the first time I'm color grading using this. That's why it's a challenge for me. So you just get to see where I got it to at the end of the video. So I'll just speed up everything so that you don't have to spend the next 30 minutes to one hour watching me color grade an image. But I'll try to rename the layer so that you get to understand which part of the image I'm actually affecting. So let's begin.
okay guys i think this is where we will stop today this is what i'll settle with as my final result although i really hyped the selective color adjustment layer i've just discovered that i can't really do a lot with it as you can see in this video i've actually used a lot of them but the the difference is not that much let me show you the before and after this is the before and this is the after it's almost as if i didn't even do anything but look at all the layers are piled up maybe i just suck at using the selective color but so far i think the base one the base color grading tool that i've been able to use alone to get the best results so far is the hue and saturation layer it has a lot of control this one doesn't have that much control so this is the result we've gotten for this picture let me show you the skin toning for the skin toning we go from this to this and then for the overall color grade we go from this to this so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did give a thumbs up if you have any question leave it down there in the comment section if you are new to the channel click on the subscribe button ring the bell icon next to it and remember that tomorrow the grand finale is coming where i will combine all the tools i use for my normal color grading to color grade this picture and then we'll see how the final results will turn out so that being restricted to one layer will give a better result than having all the layers at your disposal to use and color grade so the video will be live tomorrow remember the links to the previous videos will be in the description box see you guys in the next one